When I was younger and reading Bassmaster magazine, I remember reading an article about how old time bass fishermen would lower a jar of minnows below their boat to attract bass. They'd take a clear jar, load it up with shiners, put it on a rope and lower it down, and they claimed that the bass would come around to look at the minnows and then they would simply fish for the bass. So I thought I would try it myself. I took this jar, drilled some holes in it, filled it with minnows, including one goldfish just for color. I wasn't sure if the bass would find it that well or not. And sure enough, within about 10 minutes or so, I had the first bass come around. And it's super interesting because he wanted in there. It definitely drew him over and then he wanted inside that jar. And I think it's interesting that he didn't just come around, take a look at it, and then swim off. I mean, this is a good fish attractant. And you can see in the background there are largemouth swimming around and then suddenly he's like, wait, what's this? So it attracts him as well. And this is on a day when the water wasn't super clear. So I wonder what would happen if you went to like a clear water lake and dropped a bunch of shiners down. Would you just have like a school of bass before long around your jar? I don't know. But these two hung around for some time, probably about 20 minutes or so. And you can see the smallmouth is trying to break it open, trying to get in there. That makes sense. Smallmouth is a little bit more ferocious than largemouth are, especially when you fight him. Look at him. Just trying to break it open. I find it fascinating how you can see that intensity difference between the largemouth and smallmouth. And after a while, this big largemouth comes over to take a look. So that's the third fish that it attracted. And I was interested to see how he would react to it. And within a few seconds, he's trying to break into it. So I thought, you know what? This is, this is perfect. These bass are all stirred up. I'm not just going to drop a shiner on a hook down there and uh, catch me a nice size bass. And the shiner is alive, even though he, he's looking a little weak right now. But the bass weren't interested. I was so shocked by this. I thought they'd swim right over there and just gulp, gulp it down. I had to twitch it a little bit before the smallmouth even gave it a second look. And this didn't make any sense to me. How come they were so eager to get inside a plastic jar of minnows, but they were so hesitant at biting a minnow on the outside of the jar? I mean, does, the, does a hook and sinker and line make that much of a difference? And then finally here, the smallmouth did attack it, but I find it fascinating that he only attacked it once it started like trying to get away. Hence the reaction bite to baits like rattle traps, crank baits, and all that. And then here I thought, you know, I'm going to drop a goldfish down. I had a second goldfish in my minnow bucket, so I dropped it down to him. And, and he hits this small and grab it by the tail. Like a cat with a mouse. Just playing with it. And I thought, okay, they see it now. This is a lively minnow. They'll be all over. It's just, just a gulp. The largemouth makes a little half-hearted swipe at it. But they're just checking it out. And again, I was like, okay, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be so cool to see how these fish just inhale a goldfish, but they just stared at it. And again, this doesn't make any sense. Like, look, the goldfish is literally right on the outside of the jar and the bass goes over and starts like being interested in the fish in the jar again. So I guess we can conclude that the hook and sinker does make that big of a difference. And you know, this is an area where a lot of people fish. So maybe the fish are leery of hooks and sinkers, but not a fish in plastic jars, which still doesn't make sense to me. But I find it fascinating how the smallmouth just grabs the goldfish by the tail, just messing with him. Kind of like a cat with a mouse, how a cat just kind of lets a mouse run off and then he catches him again and he's not really interested in eating him he just wants to play with it and bass kind of have that same uh, same personality on days and it also makes sense why a lot of times you go out fishing and you're like man we had some bites but we just couldn't connect this is what's going on down there so 
what a, what a fun like experiment to do. I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. I'll link those in the description below if you guys want to check those out. And I guess we can conclude from this whole experiment that those old timers who use jars of minnows to attract bass were really on to something.